This is Nokia C31 and today I would like to demonstrate and share the top 5 pro tips and features for this device. So to begin with, I'm going to demonstrate you can set up the fingerprint recognition option. So launch your settings, then go for the security category and tap at the fingerprint section. Now choose what, uh, well, backup screen lock method you would like to go alongside the fingerprint. So I'll choose pattern, then draw the pattern that you would like to use. After that, redraw it to confirm. Choose what notifications will be visible from the lock screen. And now we can start enrolling the fingerprint. So the scanner is located at the back of the device. As you can see, this little, little tinted circle. Circle that is uh, significantly uh, darker than the frame itself. So just in order to uh, scan your fingerprint, just lay and lift your finger onto the scanner. Make sure to slightly rotate your finger each time you do that. And do that until the 100% of your finger will be scanned. So the fingerprint was added, as you can see, successfully. Now, let me, just, uh, now let, let me just go ahead and test it out. So as you can see, my screen is locked now. I'll lay my finger onto the center, sensor and the display gets unlocked right away. We can do that with screen being completely shut down and it gets unlocked like so. Already moving on to the next tip for today. Uh, that's actually the whole display mode that you can access by entering the display category of settings. It is called the nightlight and once enabled as you can see it uh, well tints the screen amber in here you can uh, regulate and adjust the intensity of this effect uh, make it less intense or all the way up uh, well warm make it as warm as it can be basically the pros of this effect is that it significantly reduces the level of eye fatigue you get by using the device by looking at the screen in here, you can even set some automatic schedule or time frames for this mode to be enabled and disabled at automatically. Already, the next option or configuration, rather, I wanted to show is uh, located at the system category of settings. Go into the gestures, system navigation. And as you could have noticed up until this point in the video, I've been using gestures to navigate through the system. But if you are uh, well, an old school person and like to have the three digital buttons, you can absolutely do that by switching the system navigation type over here. And now you will, will scroll through your phone, navigate through the uh, system interface by using this little three digital buttons. I'm more of a gestures guy myself, so I'll set it back to be gestures, but there is nothing wrong in using the three digital buttons, obviously. All right, so the next option or tip is rather a small one. Uh, as you can see currently at the status bar, I'm not seeing the battery percentage unless I will uh, swipe the notification curtain downwards. So if you would like to add the battery percentage information over here next to the battery icon, you can absolutely do that in a few simple steps by launching settings, then enter the uh, battery category, then in here you'll find the battery percentage toggle that you obviously want to turn on like, to, like that. And fifth and final feature that's uh, the one that will be related to uh, accessibility. So uh, I will need to enter the accessibility category of settings. It is called the magnification and once enabled it provides you with this shortcut that you can use uh, for zooming into things. So once this orange frame appears, just uh, tap at the zone that you would like to well, zoom into and as you can see it zooms in right away. Now by uh, shrinking, but by following shrinking movements of your fingers you can uh, <clears throat> zoom in or zoom out to some extent. And if you are done with magnificating anything, just tap at the icon over here once again and exit the magnification. There is also the second mode, which is we will not use the whole uh, display, will only provide you with the small uh, magnification window. Here it is. And you can move around and magnify into certain spots without having to use the whole, well, display space. Inside it, you can also change the scale of magnification like we did previously and quit it by tapping at the same magnification button over here. 
already. So that would be not only for the final tip, but for this video in general. Thank you so much for watching. We highly appreciate your attention. Do not forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons and I'll see you around. Bye-bye.